Jordan is a very kind, welcoming, and stable country. And for the Christians there, they are getting no official help from any government, only the help that we from our foundation give them. But life is stable, and they have hope. What we need is for some country to eventually welcome some of these Iraqis into their lands. And so far, only one family has gone to Canada and one to France. Mm. What other countries, are there other countries in the Middle East, say a, um, neighboring countries where some of the Iraqi refugees are, are ending up? No, there are some who have fled to Lebanon and um, a few maybe who've gone to Yemen, mm. but there's nowhere which is often sanctity. Wow. Jordan and Lebanon are it. So is, is you say Jordan's not really giving this group any official recognition? Are they, no. li are they in quote-unquote refugee camps or no, what kind of conditions? Not. Okay, they're living in really ramshackled houses that they can just about afford to rent and we're helping them rent them. But it's terrible because no, there isn't anywhere mm. for them to go. Mm. And back, back in Iraq, what's the status of the church there? Back in Iraq, a lot of the Christians have moved up to north in Kurdistan. Mm -hmm. And there they do have considerable freedom in Kurdish areas. In Iraq itself, the main Christian community was in Mosul, in Nineveh. Mm -hmm. There are no Christians there now. But the church in Baghdad is remaining. How do the Iraqis that are left in the nation, they have to be terrified of this brutal organization known as ISIS or Islamic State. Describe what the mindset is there. They are terrified of ISIS arriving on their doorstep in Baghdad. The reality is that Baghdad is very safe. Hmm. From Baghdad down to Najaf, that is predominantly a Shia area, and the Shia will not let them infiltrate their area. So our Christians are relatively safe there. Well, and you're working primarily in Jordan. I know you were sharing with me you're due to go to Baghdad again here in the next few weeks, and uh, you're helping these Iraqi refugees in the nation of Jordan, who many of them, it sounds like, need basic supplies. Oh, absolutely. We're having to provide them with everything. Mm. Food, education, health care, housing. How are they holding up spiritually? Incredibly well. Before all this happened, there used to be Chaldeans and Orthodox and Anglicans and Protestants now with this persecution we have become one wow we're just christian nobody ever speaks about what denomination they belong to we don't we belong to yeshua we are messihi followers of the messiah